Let's welcome back to some more Shadow of the Colossus, where last time we took down the last three right before Malice and just saying, screw, Gar uh, screw Argus, screw Argus. That is easily the worst one. Pelagia wasn't even that bad, and that's saying something. <laughs> Uh, I digress. And this time, we're taking down Malice in, once and for all. And for context on how I'm doing these recordings, um, I've said this before, but usually I work a week or two ahead of uh ahead in time for you guys, video-wise, because you know you never know the unexpected. In this case, it's an extra video. There is a reason for that. Uh, for this recording session, this is literally the same session I did with every other Colossus besides the first four on the hard time trial. This is the same session from last time and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm still very much pissed off with Argus, but Malice should not be this bad. I'm gonna eat those words, aren't I? <laughs> That's, uh, I usually do. But, yeah. So, we're doing this once again. Feels very surreal. It, it actually feels really weird that we're using the Cursed Water skin for this. I mean, it's kind of fitting, I guess, but... So, Malisk actually has extra time associated, probably because he's a little more tanky, but... Otherwise, it shouldn't be that bad. But Malisk is mostly just a gimmick fight. He can't really throw you off that easily. And... I don't know. As long as you're not being stupid when running up to him, he shouldn't be that big of an issue. Uh-oh. Okay, good. He didn't hit me. Oh, come, that is a dick move, and you know it, game. I, I, it takes me time to climb, man. The hell's wrong? Uh, the hell's wrong with you? All right, climb up here. Wait. Climb up here. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Go. I mean, Malice can easily kill you, but I guess we're since we're going through this again, and I guess for a lot of you, this will most likely be the finale. The video after this one will be the bonus video talking about all of the extra things associated with this game that I never did talk about and a lot of the secrets that I never got to show. So, I just want to say thanks. Thank you guys so, so much for enjoying this series. It means a ton that there are so many people who have enjoyed the series and I've been having a blast. I may sound annoyed or anything like that, or, you know, stuff like that. As I've said this before, but I jokingly get pissed off. I don't actually get mad at these, but I just do it as a joke for comedic effect. Ow. But I have I've had a blast doing this game, and it, it this series does mean a lot to me. It really is a redemption on the first LP of this channel. And granted, everybody has to start somewhere. I've always held on to that fact that, you know, we all start from a crappy point. Like, we're not all just amazing people at what we do at uh, already, unless if you're gifted. But that, that's what I mean. I really wanted to redeem the series because it means so much to me and to the channel. And granted, the first series of this channel is not indicative of Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus took place five years ago at this rate, or at this point. Actually, more than that, it's six years now. It's, uh, it was 2018 when I did that. So, it just means a lot that I was able to make this game a whole lot better for your guys' enjoyment. And it may not be uber popular or anything like that, not that that matters, but it feels, it feels weird to have an audience. Like, because for the longest time, I didn't have an audience. And that's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. I, I've always pretended to have an audience, whether there is one or not, when I'm doing these kind of things, because you, have, you never know who's gonna show up. You never know who's gonna watch your video, and you may leave a really good impact on that person as a result. And I wanna be that impactful person, so. I don't know, I guess I'm being too goody two-shoes on everything, but it does mean a whole lot that you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have, because you guys artificially increased the length of this LP by a whole, like, extra 20 or so episodes as a result. It's ridiculous. Actually, 
you more than doubled the amount that this LP was going to take. It was originally just going to be 17 episodes. Or, 18. Uh, I'm going to wait for you. Yeah, you pulled this on me last time, buddy. Not falling for your tricks again. There we go. So, again, sincerely, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for the laughter that I've had for just reading some of your guys' comments. And even on the shorts. The shorts on this game do amazing. And I didn't realize this game still has a massive following as it does. So... I'm just glad that at least I could be somebody recent who's playing through this game and making a series on it. Because, you know, there's always got to be somebody out there. And I like older games, damn it. <laughs> so there's a good stab here. Running out of stamina. Uh, where did I grab? Okay, that's fine. Running out of stamina a little bit. That's kind of terrifying. I need you to level out your hand. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's get a good shot. There we go. Just hold on for dear life. Yeah, so we're getting there in about five minutes or so. That's pretty good. All right. Get to your head. But yeah. It just surprises me how well this game is done for the channel. And, you know, I know I'm harping on that a lot. I've thanked you guys a ton throughout this LP. And I don't know. I, I'm, I've always been... I've always thought of myself as being somebody who is terrible at explaining their feelings about stuff. Like, and I've told, I've been told that I'm wrong about that, but I want to just ensure that my appreciation is out there and, you know, I'm so looking forward to the things we do in the future because, you know, things are not going to stop at Shadow of the Colossus. There's going to be so many other things ahead in the future that hopefully makes everybody happy. One last stab. Yeah, that was like the easiest one out of the whole bunch. Holy crap. So much for hard mode on you. That's... Wow. That was easy. Oh. Can I jump off the map again? Nope. It was a one-time deal. Here we go. Our final items. There should be two now that we've done all of the time trials on hard mode. That was a fun challenge, by the way. Some of them were ridiculous, but overall, it was really fun. I actually enjoyed it a lot. Speed King. What? What is this for? Time attract... Oh. Okay. Oh, that's sick. That is the Queen's Sword. It can inflict a mortal blow with one strike to the vi what? What? <laughs> what do you mean one strike with the vi to the vitals? How do you mean by that? Wait, what? That's a thing? I thought it was just a really cool sword. Um. Okay. Do I get anything? I guess that's the only thing I get out of that. Let's see. So yeah. Oh, and we get Crested Aggro as well, which I think that's just his default, but... Huh. Queen Sword. Does significant damage to Colossi. Interesting. I want to test this. <laughs> I really want to test this. Um, We'll keep White Steed on. We'll do... I guess keep the Harpoon. I kind of want to see how much the Harpoon does too, but... I guess I'll save that for another day. Um... Do I have any of this crap on? No. Okay, so Coca Force. Okay, yeah, I do I do not want any of these on. So I guess it automatically takes that stuff off when you have Cursed Wander. It doesn't do anything, it just makes you cursed. So what does this thing look like? Oh, that's sick. If you guys don't know, this is the sword from uh, Eco. So, or at least the sword you could obtain. Man, that thing looks sick. Holy crap. Okay. Since we have a bunch of time to mess around with, I'm going to quickly head on over to Valis. Uh, this is on a Heart Plus journey as well, so... I want to run over here. I want to see how much this does, because I am very curious about the Queen Sword. I have never had all of these items at once. So, 
Oh, I got something fun I could do. Where's the harpoon? Oh, I can use it on the back of aggro. That is hilarious. I want to see if that knocks down Ar er, Ar Ar Argus. I want to see if that knocks down Ballas immediately, like on his leg. Because if so, that's 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 really funny. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see. But I, I guess going back to the melan uh, melancholy rant. I don't know. For someone who has always looked up to other LPers and the such, and I have changed my mentality about that, I, I guess I can explain this. Um, with events that have happened and the such, I'm not getting into it, I have promised I'm not going to get into that whole rant again, but I've more or less realized that I shouldn't be basing my stuff off of what other people do. I should be basing stuff off of how I handle things. and. People, I want people to watch me for me, not for being similar to somebody else. Now, granted, that doesn't mean I should throw all, all the other qualities that I have looked up to out the window, because that has made me who I am. But part of doing these LPs have made, real, made me realize that, you know, people are only going to watch you for you and not because you're like another person. And that's how I want to go with things going forward. So, and it's thanks to the series that has helped me realize that because there's not a lot of other series that covers the hard mode, let alone the hard mode time trials. So, and it's thanks to you guys that I can uh, show that off. So let's see. Yoink. Oh, I missed. Yoink. Oh my god, it kneels you down immediately. That is hilarious. What? Oh, I love that. Yoink. <laughs> That's... That is strangely comical. I want I, I doubt you could kill a Colossus with this. It'd be hilarious if you could. Get back down. Get, get back down, dude. Get back down. Get back down. <laughs> Just constantly throwing our boots. There's so many in his leg. Okay, so let's pull out the Queen Sword. Just bring you back down. Or I can just climb your hairy ass again. I didn't expect us to go and fight Valus once again, but eh, it's fine. I like Valus a lot. He's classic. Hey, look how much grip we have. That is going to be another thing I'm going to talk about here before we end the episode off. I just really want to see how much damage this Queen Sword does. Because, uh, yeah, it makes me very curious. Hey, Valus, you're so much easier than your brother uh, Argus. I guess by extension, Barba, but even still. All right. How much does this do? Oh my god, it one-shots every sigil. What? <laughs> it just one-shots everything. Okay, that's that's kind of hilarious, actually. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Bonk. Oh, you have to do a full charge for it. Okay. And bonk. Oh, Sword of Her Majesty. Any Colossus with a Queen's... Man, a lot of these trophies I am not getting. Just... Or that I'm now getting, I should say. Who knows, maybe off screen, uh, off screen I'll actually try to platinum this game. Especially since I've done everything. All the hard stuff. I think the only ones I'm missing are... I think I still need to do a deathless run. I have yet to do a deathless run, but... I'm not that concerned about it. I'll meet you guys back into the temple real quick after we are done sucking up more black tentacles. back here once again so now that we have completed the hard time trials we can actually go into all of these with our hard mode weapons in a newer game plus so if you want to you can just straight up throw harpoons and kill stuff with the queen sword if you so wish seriously this, this thing looks freaking sick like look at that man i've never even played eco but i've seen a bunch of it in the past and it just oh my god it looks so cool so what are what is what is the last things we got to do for this? Well, one of the things I'm going to be doing off screen is part of the reason why I went ahead and did Malice on the same session as last episode and the two episodes before that. We need a full grip meter. I don't really care much about health per se. It's the grip strength that we need. We need more grip. We need maximum grip for something I want to show. Off screen. And this is how you do this in the most efficient way possible. All you do 
is keep loading up a normal or even easy. You could do it on easy, but since you have the queen sword, why don't why do it on normal? Or why do it on easy? Constantly just kill the first and second Colossus every time. You can always freely go into a new game plus no matter how far you are into the file. So what most speedrunners do, at least to try to get 100% trophy, is they go and kill the first and second Colossus on a new game plus, and then they load a new new game plus, or at least a new game plus plus, on that one file that's only got the two Colossus killed. It keeps your grip strength, and you just constantly kill Valus and Quadratus over and over again, which is most, the most efficient. So, I will be doing that off-screen, because uh, we're still pretty far away from getting all of that. I don't. I think it takes about, like, four or... Like, four or five whole playthroughs just to get that much. So, yeah. I'm definitely going to be doing that off-screen, because that takes a long time. So... It helps out with doing the hard mode journey, but besides that, I'll be doing that off screen. Besides that, the last thing we gotta do in this game is talk about all the secrets, and well, we'll be taking care of that in the next episode. So, next time on Shadow of the Colossus, we're gonna be ending things for good by t uh, talking about the things that were both secretive and were never implemented. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.